I have this round henna cutout that I grabbed at Dollar General for a few dollars and it has a scalloped edge to it and I flipped it over and I am going to start by applying Wise Owl Gray Primer and I'm using my small S30 Klingon brush if you wanted to see the size on that. It's a nice small little art brush with a short handle. And now on top of the uh, gray primer that was dry, I added black and I took a baby wipe and uh, dabbed some of it back to give it this textured application and allowed that to dry. Now I'm taking a big fat dabber and antique villa and I'm dabbing the antique villa all over. I am not looking for full coverage. And then allowing it to dry. Once dried, I took a pencil and created this U shape. Added some ears. And then filled this in with black. Now I found these acrylic uh, colors at Dollar General and I'm using purple, green, and white. And I found this show off stencil at Hobby Lobby. And I'm gonna need two separate dabbers. The first dabber, I'm gonna add some green and white and I'm just adding it to the leaf area. And then I'm adding the purple. This is all done with a dabbing motion. And then once the purple was uh, filled in, I'm taking a little bit of white and just dabbing it randomly around each floral area. And then you're gonna get something that looks a little bit like a lavender. Now I did take um, a small art brush and put a line to the left and to the right as eyes on his face. And I'm going to repeat this uh, lavender process again using green and white for the leaves and then purple and then white for the uh, lavender area. I am taking a blow dryer and drying off my stencil before laying it down again. And I'm also drying the freshly painted lavender so that when the stencil crosses over that, it's not smearing. So you just wanna make sure both are dry before you lay your stencil down again. Again, I got these paints at the Dollar General.
so anyway, so I took some white and I took some salt wash and mixed it in just to give a textured uh, look for his, um, the top of his head. You know how sheep have that little patch on the top of their head. And I wanted to make that textured so it stood out a little bit. I grabbed these stickers from the Dollar Tree. And they had all different words. And I used the word blessings. And I found this chalkboard on a rope. I believe I got it at Michael's. And with some E6000 and a little bit of hot glue. I'm going to stick my sheep to the chalkboard. Now this lavender I found at Dollar Tree. And I make it a bundle with some um, floral wire. Two separate bundles. And it just gathers it all together to make it easier to glue. And I'm using some E6000 and some hot glue to hold down my lavender. Now I found this little metal bow at Walmart and E6000 and some hot glue. And here you go. Now you have this cute little sheep blessings wall hanging. Guys, for the tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can also check them out on our webpage, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much.